Hey, what's up? We're back to do a really quick, short segment on the cat's arm. So let's go to it. We got a cat here, and what we're gonna notice is we got this nice big vein right here. We got the tail end of our subclavian vein just exiting the rib cage right there, and once we get right here, we're we're really getting into our axillary vein by we, by the time we get down to here. Okay, I generally like to use the side of the cat's face as a good landmark for where I'm going to be in the axillary vein because when everything gets all split open it can be kind of hard to see. If we keep going down we get next to this big biceps brachii muscle here and we get into the brachial vein. If we kept going we'd find an ulnar vein and a radial vein as well. And we can also see the brachial artery here, no doubt that that's the brachial artery next to that big bicep muscle right there. If we follow the brachial artery back up, we'll get into the axillary artery, and if we keep going, he's, he kind of dives underneath the veins here, but if we keep going, we'll, we'll eventually, there he is, there he is, we'll find the subclavian vein as it gets back into the vein, artery. What did I mean to say? I meant to say artery, we'll find the subclavian artery as it gets back into the rib cage. I wonder if there's anything else cool about this cat that we could... Top it off with, we got some nice pericardium that we still see. And if we could pan down here into the abdomen, this is a boy cat. Double check that, yep. And what we see in this boy cat right here is one of his testicular arteries. Look how skinny that is. That little skinny red thing right there comes out just below where the renal artery is going to be. And I can, there's my renal artery. Well, boom, right there. So there's the renal artery. The next paired artery, as we come down, is the testicular artery. And if I go on the other side, it's even better on the other side, which is pretty awesome. These guys did not kill it. I Hopefully I don't break it. So there's the testicular artery on the right-hand side. Look how it's right next to the ureter. And you can see the testicular artery just going, 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 eventually going down to go through the pelvic diaphragm, go through the inguinal canal, and get into the scrotum and supply the testes. And I think we'll wrap it up.